In this video, it is time. It is time to get back to the air raid. It's time to talk about spread offense and why spread, I think, is the most slept on formation in Madden. We're going to talk about how you can pick up pretty much any pressure in the game with spread and the ability that you have within the formation to really space the field and force your opponent into specific defenses that are going to be much more advantageous to your offense. Now, if you are new to the channel, I want to ask you to go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. Also, if you're new to the channel, I do want to let you know that if you want to get my full Arizona Air Raid Offensive eBook, I'm going to put a link to that in the description of the video. You can do that by signing up. You can get that and as well as the rest of my um, Madden 22 Offensive and Defensive Guides by signing up for our Patreon membership. Um, the Patreon is only $10 a month, and it gets you access to every all 20 offensive and defensive ebooks that I've released so far this season. In addition to that, we're also going to be giving you guys exclusive access to all the updates to those guides. We typically update the membership every week with new material that can help you become a better player and help you. And again, it, it just kind of tis little tweaks based off of you know some of the meta and things like that. And then also you're going to get access to every new ebook that we will release while your membership is active. So if you want to sign up for that, there's a link in the description below where you can join the Patreon. Now, what I wanted to talk about today is this play, P.A. Reed. I really want to talk about it as a kind of a catch-all play um, for this offense. And what makes it so special is the play action. So if we were to call, um, let's say one of the reasons that most people aren't running the spread this year is because let's say we were to call this Y cross play and they were to send a five-man blitz out of the nickel 335. I'm locking my running back, and what you're going to notice here is that the pressure is going to loop around the running back and sack my quarterback. So as you can see right there, that's one of the main reasons why, because you basically, in a lot of people's mind, you can't really block blitzes um, in spread. Well, it's not exactly true. Um, what you're going to notice here is when I go to PA read, I'm going to use the same exact blitzing concept. And what you're going to see is when I cancel my play action, the blitz gets completely picked up and I have plenty of time to be able to make a read. So the beauty of the play action is that it basically will pick up pretty much every meta blitz in the mat in the game. So that's a huge, huge, huge win uh, for our spread offense. The other thing that this really allows us to do is it allows us to have four threats. Um, so we're going to be able to pick up every blitz. We're also going to have four threats across the field that are going to really space the field. So what this is going to force your opponent to have to do is it's going to force them to have to play Mabel coverage. Well, if they play Mabel coverage, what you're going to notice here is that this um, this um, route to Gronkowski is going to be wide open of the seam, and there's a lot of things that we can do with this. So, for example, let me give you just a simple route combination that you can use. You can run a two vertical concepts. We're going to use a comeback and we're going to use a streak. And then on the back side of this, um, we're just going to run a simple little flat in route. And what you're going to see here is this is going to really cook a lot of the Mabel concept because it's going to put the user in a position where they're going to have to have to get out there and guard the seam streak to the tight end. Well, the problem with that is you have coming back across your formation this little flat and dig route. Now, why is this flat dig? Uh, concept so good well it's really really good um, because of the fact that what you're going to notice here is again if I just go with a simple uh, whoops uh, if I just go with a simple Mabel concept here what you're going to notice is that this curl flat defender on the left side of the screen is going to have a lot of trouble with this flat in concept you'll see right here that your dig is going to be wide open on the left side of the screen so that's another simple concept. And the beauty of this is you can literally do anything you want. So another thing that you can do within trip or within spread that is really something that I think is unique to spread is you can create trips from either side of the field. So let me just audible over here to the gun spread Y flex. And what you're going to notice is I can audible or I can motion these receivers to create a tray um, type of formation over here on this side of the screen. So I can manipulate coverage significantly with these trips looks. I can motion and I can actually create a quads alignment as well. So what you'll see here, if I go back to that um, PA read play, you'll notice that I can motion Scotty Miller to the right. And now what I have is a massive advantage over here because I have a corner 
I can run a simple, you know, my number three receiver can be on a corner. I could do something like this right here, which is a really, really good uh, Mabel beater because that post is going to get super, super deep down the field. As you can see right here, it gets it into a nice deep area of the field, and they can't really play match coverage against it. So this is some of the reasons why um, spread is so good. Now, I wanted to talk today about one of the coverages that you're definitely going to see if you run a lot of spread, and that is a simple little um, cover one with two purples and maybe a three rack. So something like this right here. How are we gonna beat this concept? Well, the way that I like to beat man, especially from spread, is through this play PA read. I've got this really deep post route to Scotty Miller. Why is this such a good route? It's such a good route because of the fact that it's a deeper version of a post, which makes it significantly better. These deep post routes are really, really good this year. Then what you want to do with this is you want to create kind of this shallow cross, which we already have. We have this nice little shallow cross to Godwin. You could re-slant him if you want to, or you could leave him. He's going to go about 20 yards. I like to re-slant him, so we're just going to slant Chris Godwin just like this. We're going to take um, Gronkowski and put him on a post. And then what you can do on the backside with Mike Evans is one of three things. You can put him on a fade, you could put him on a smoke screen, you could put him on a zig, or you could leave him on his comeback. So I'm going to put him on a smoke screen, especially if I'm thinking that they're going to be running a man coverage assignments. Um, I'll just put him on a simple smoke. And what you'll notice here is you have this tight end that's going to be wide open over the middle of the field against man to man. So we have great uh, potential to be able to beat man to man in this package. Another little thing that you could do with this, this is a kind of a unique little motion here that we can do out of this formation. We can actually motion our tight end um, to the right side of the screen. And what we can do off of this is create this dig to Mike Evans if we wanted to continue to have a really nice little uh, man beating post and we now have a man beating zig and we have a man beating um you know dig over the middle of the field so you see here this little whip will beat man you got the slant to beat man and then if you take a look at this deep post this is why it's so good is it's very consistent the deeper post routes the like super deep post routes this year if you don't smart route them you just let them run their default depth and let them run super deep they really get on top of the defense in a way that other post routes really don't this also comes off of also, again guys, if you're getting a lot of coverage, um, like what we're getting in this example, there's no reason why you can't run a simple uh, little in route to the running back here. That is going to be very effective to create this right here. So you could do something that's very simple like this, maybe even run a fade on the right to force the opponent to have to have, you know, make them shade over top or whatever. Uh, but what you'll see here again is this post to the right real or the left really cooks man um, without any route running abilities whatsoever. It's a, basically a speed thing. You got a fast receiver there. Um, he's going to consistently get separation. So this is just a simple way to beat a lot of the coverages. And then spread crucifies zone coverages. And again, um, I would recommend if you're going to run spread, you want to have a field general quarterback with hot route master and uh, set feet lead, in my opinion, um, because you want to have the ability to put – this setup right here on the field something as simple as this is a really really good this is not a pa read this is a great little play right here what you're going to notice is that this deep post is going to pull every zone out of the way and then it's going to allow us to hit our crosser force them to have to mabel coverage and then what from when, when they start mabeling then you get into a position where you're going to be able to really take some of your simple things and, and what i mean by simple things is something as simple as a hitch in the middle of the field, which is one of my favorite concepts. Um, just hitch both slots, and then we're gonna deep out both outside receivers. And what you'll see here is these little hitches are really, really good against pretty much everything the defense can do. So love, love, love this offense. Can't wait to get more in, back into this formation. Um, there's so much you could do out of this. If we wanted to create, you know, you could put, for example, you could put Chris Godwin on a crosser, you could flat Gronkowski, and then you have your little, basically this turns into trips tied in, but now you have a deep monster of a post route coming over the middle, and you're back into a trips tied in type of set or trade type of set. So the formation is very adaptable. We can create some of the best concepts in Madden from this one simple set. 
Um, there's so much you can do off of this, guys, and this is just the tip of the iceberg. But this is one of my favorite sets is right here. Um, this PA replay can do so much for your offense and just the spacing that spread can provide. There's really nothing like it. The only thing even close to it is a five wide set. But anyways, that is the video. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you grab the Patreon membership if you want to learn more about this ebook. Um, like I said, you get access to everything. There's a link in the description below where you can sign up for the Patreon for just $10 a month.